struggling. <laughs> it's going this side. There we go. All right. Well, today we are in Chittenango, New York. This is where my mother grew up. And we were sitting outside the Salvation Army. I've frequented the Salvation Army over the years since I was a young child. Um, and we're gonna head in here and see what we can find to buy and flip for a profit. Now it is kind of small, so I'm sure it won't take us very long, but we'll give it a shot. Um, Andrew is going to stay in the car because Laurel is passed out. She's, she was up at like seven o'clock this morning, so it's nap time. Um, but yeah, let's go see what we can find. Here we go. All right. Little Salvation Army. All right. Oh. It's kind of nice, but it's a little chipped out. Made in Italy. It's the lacquer. My cart is like, what? <laughs> the alignment is off. Okay, there we go. Um, Alright, so they're running lots of sales right now. She actually just showed me this Labor Day thing. I'm not going to be around here for Labor Day, but 50% off everything in the store. That's kind of exciting. Nice looking dish. Bolt scrap. Of course it's bolt scrap. It's me every time. <laughs> I think I secretly have a other thing for bolt scrap. There's some rice pattern. Rice pattern bowl. Mom frequents this uh this place every time she comes down here. What in the world is this? It's weird looking. Toledo. I came all the way from Toledo. $7.99 on that. Uh, we bought a lot yesterday, so I might be a little picky on just grabbing stuff. I was thinking I could put that in my booth, but I've got stuff sitting around the shop I could put in my booth. What is this? That's crazy. That is reverse painted. And then somebody added the gold in 1996 they created that they did a nice job <laughs> get my cart to turn <laughs> I'm really struggling <laughs> it's going this way there we go all right well I switched the cart out for a basket <laughs> I figured the basket wouldn't have a mind of its own all right, there really isn't much left to look at. But got some metals here. That's kind of pretty. I like that punched look to it. What is it marked? Made in USA. EPNS, so electroplated nickel silver. $4.99. That's a Fenton hobnail. I'll stick that in my basket. If I don't resell it, I'll probably keep it for myself. Got lots of milk glass here. Most Goodwills and Salvation Armies usually do. Here we are in clear. I like the floral pattern on that plate down there. All right, well, that's it for the hard goods. Well, except for the lamps. Made in England. That's kind of a crazy looking pattern on that. I'm not sure what that little weasel is doing. Made in China. That's probably Williamsburg. Alright. Yeah, nothing really else is speaking to me. So I think we're going to get out of here. Um, we've got about a half hour until Yellow Brick Thrift opens. That's the one that mom is always talking about on video. Um, and mom and dad were actually supposed to be on this trip with us, but they couldn't come. Uh, so I think she had said something to the owner that we were going to come and visit. So we're going to follow through with that anyway, even though mom can't be here with us. So we're going to wait till they open and we're going to head over there. All right. So I decided to look through the cases. Most of the cases and, um, our good rolls don't really have anything in them. Um, this little guy in the front looks like he could be a Joseph's original, I think. Maybe. I'm not sure. Um, the one in the back, I think, is Blue Mountain Pottery in the blue glaze, which 
I don't think is as common as the green. I think that's what that is. I can't see the price from here. And then there's like this whole tray here of all these little goodies. And there's one glass seal in the back that I don't think you guys can see because he's black on a black tray. But he has like a pearl or something. I don't know. It's kind of cool. So I'm going to get this out. I'm going to go through these and I'm going to buy a bunch of them. <laughs> Because this excites me. The stuff on the shelf wasn't very exciting, but I'm glad I decided to look through here. I think this is a Hosel 10. Yeah, so we'll take this. How's it going? This. 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 This one is stone. No. High five. I gotta get you. How about that one? Um. This one is plastic. Okay. This little guy is the one I was talking about. I do bad for you. You are, Charlie. Alright. I think I'm good with these. I'm gonna buy this pile. Alright, well, we are back in the truck. Our total spend there at the Salvation Army was $44. And it turns out that all of those seals had blue tags, which were 50% off. So that was exciting. Apparently they got somebody's entire seal collection. Um, and it was a lot. But those were the last remaining pieces of the seal collection. So hopefully we did pretty well on them. I'm a little bummed that we missed out on the rest of it. But if, that, if that's Blue Mountain Pottery, I think should do pretty well on it. Um, so we're gonna go get Duncan now, and then we're gonna wait for the um, Yellow Brick Thrift to open, and I'm gonna take you guys over there. Andrew's very excited for that. <laughs> All right, we'll see you guys over there. All right, well, we have arrived at Yellow Brick Thrift. They opened five minutes ago. We had a little bit of a hard time finding it, so that, lead me, that leads me to believe that this is somewhat of a hidden gem. Um, there's not a whole lot of signage. Andrew actually drove by it and then we came back and we're looking and we're like, where is it? Small little itty bitty sign. So if you're looking for it, you have to put it in your GPS and then you have to search for it. But I heard it's worthwhile. So we're gonna head in and um, we're gonna see what we can find in here. Here we go. Here's the flower frog that I need for that pewter thing I picked up at Goodwill. Yeah, um Aaron's been very grateful. Those are adorable vintage um, baby clothes. So how is that for a good turnout? A few plaques there. Ashtray. Horse hair pottery. Some neat bottles, and you're still out in the car with Laurel, though. Yeah, so I'm doing it. Like, it's, you know, it's my fun project for the year. Yeah. At my mother in law's, like, we should go check out that first shop. We should go now. Like, it's really good. Hmm. These are neat. I don't know what they are, but they're neat. This is a small little place. closet back here and I think that's about it. Look at those hubcaps. They're outside my little house. <laughs> Pewter. It's a funky looking lamp but I think it's relatively modern with that cord and the Important safety instructions. Kind of a sweet little shaker there. <laughs> Some oyster shells. Alright. Well, I made quick work of that. Oh, look at all the puppies. I missed all the boxers. A whole shelf of them. This is personalized jewelry. Julianne. <laughs> Alright. Well, our total spend there at Yellow Brick Thrift was only $2 and some tax. I found that little floral frog, which I needed because I picked up um, an Ikebana 
that I didn't know was Nick Mana until you guys let me know in the comments and I was missing the little floral frog thingy, so. So I've actually walked by this a few times and every single time I walk by it, my eye goes straight to it. So this time I decided to pick it up. Uh, I'm not sure if it's a little vase or if it's a red candle. I don't know what it is, but check this out. It does have a signature on the back. It is pewter, which makes sense. Um, pewter is pretty soft metal. It's just bizarre. It's interesting. The purpose, I do not know, but the fact that it's signed, very carefully slide it in there. It worked out. I got one of those. Um, we probably should have timed it a little bit better because we got there right at opening and she was unloading some totes of fresh merchandise that were gonna be put out on the shelves, but we were there too early. So maybe we should have planned it a little bit better, gotten there at maybe 11.30, noon, because they open at 11 on Thursdays. But you know, we've got, we've got stuff to do today busy day so um, could have planned it better mom's gotten some really great stuff out of there in the past um, so next time I'm here in town I'm gonna have to definitely check it out but we have moved on now we are at cobblestone trading post it is en route from Chittenango to Madison Bockville antique show where we are heading next but I figured we'd stop in here um, I noticed it yesterday and I was like I should stop there at some point and we're gonna stop there right now. Um, we're actually sitting in the parking lot, which is empty. Uh, so we're gonna head in, see what we can find. I'm actually, I'm checking this out here. But they don't open until one. I kinda want some ice cream. It's not one yet, it's only, what time is it? It's noon, we have an hour until ice cream. Um, so anyway, let's head in and see what we can find. I think Laurel's stirring, but not awake, so. I guess we'll head in and see what we can find. Here we go. This is really cute. Oh my goodness, this place is so adorable. <laughs> it is so cute. Smells so good in here. I'm not even sure what I'm smelling, but it smells so good. I'm gonna head upstairs. Gosh, this building is so old. Look at the walls. Super cool. <laughs> this is a really neat display cabinet. I think we have a similar one at our shop. Alligator. Lots of primitives. Oh wait, check this out. How cool is that? Old post office box thing. Pretty sure that's what that is. Post office box thing. <laughs> Money orders. Post office. Over here it says post office. Then all the little slots there. back downstairs they had like a vinegar and oil tasting room that looked really fascinating I don't know what that's all about
So this is actually really neat. They have all of these um, vinegars and oils. My mom used to be really into mixing the vinegars and the oils and bread dipping and all of that. She had all different kinds of gourmet oils and <laughs> bread dipping stuff. This is really intense. She would love this. I think I'm gonna get out of here. Um, I guess uh, the things, the Murano, um, there's no praises on it, so it's not for sale. That's really the only thing I was interested in. And she tried calling the owner and they weren't gonna price it for me, so I'm gonna get out of here. All right, so that was a little disappointing. A, a little, I mean, it was a really cool shop. They had some really awesome stuff in there. Um, I was a little disappointed about the Murano figurines. They didn't have a price on they were signed. They were super cool. I loved the owl. I think the owl I may have kept for myself. And I think that's why I was disappointed because I was like, I would have bought this for myself. But I had no price on it. And she did try calling the owner, uh, but they, I guess he was in a place with a bad signal so he could hear her asking for a price. So, no owl for me. But, um, you know, maybe when we're down here next year, they may still be here if they're not priced. <laughs> and we can try again. Um, so anyway, we're gonna move down the road now to, to the antique show. I think it's like another 10 minutes down the road. Um, and we're gonna see if we can have any luck there because they have lots of stuff. They probably have a Murano owl there waiting for me. So um, yeah, all right, I'm gonna end it here. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I guess we'll see all of you tomorrow. So long.